Hey guys, what's up? My name is Technobo and welcome back to a new video. So today I'm going to be addressing an issue and showing you guys how to do something pretty cool and that is leveling up your Steam account very quickly for free. So in the last video that I did, which is literally what I'm remaking here, I titled it How to Level Up Very Fast on Steam Working 2016 Free. And literally after the Steam sale, the views just completely skyrocketed. There were hundreds of thousands of views. Well, not really that, but hundreds of views coming in every single day or hour even that. I mean, it, it jumped from about 30,000 views to about 70,000 views in two or three days. And everyone who has been commenting on it lately has been saying that it is clickbait because the method that I showed was not free. But that is incorrect because the first half of the video does showcase a free method and the second part doesn't. True, this free method is much slower, but it is still possible to level up your Steam account relatively quickly, free, and you can speed it up with money. Today I'm going to show you guys how to do that. This video will be split up into three parts. The first part, starting right after I finish with this little introductory speech, will be about how to acquire Steam cards for free. The second half will be how to speed up the process and trade for cards themselves. And the third part of the video will be discussing how to actually um, know which cards to get and how to get them and we'll show you guys how to level up very quickly And that's where the whole thing comes from all of these revolve around cards So watch from the start right over here if you want to know how to do it free speed it up Know how to put it together and if you only want to do it for free watch this first little part and then skip to the end part Times are on the screen right now, so do what you like so anyway, jumping on to the free method. So basically, this revolves around cards. So what you need to do is acquire cards in the first place. Now a lot of you people say, oh hey, you can get cards from running games that you buy and that have card drops. You don't need to buy the games themselves to get the card drops. Of course, you do need them in your Steam account to get the card drops from them physically, but you can ask your friends for them to complete badges that you've already started, that you have collected cards for already. You can go ahead and sell cards that you already have that you do not need for the current badge that you're working on. And you can get free items from games like CSGO and other games where they give you random free drops. You can go ahead and sell them to buy cheap cards to make badges. That's one main method of doing it. The second method of acquiring free cards is going onto Reddit and places like that, YouTube giveaways and everything, where they give away games. Now these subreddits give away games very often depending on how often the users put games up. But normally there's about 10 or 15 new games that pop up in total on all these subreddits. So if you go ahead and subscribe to every single subreddit that I'm going to showcase to you guys, you're going to have a lot of games in no time as well as cards. So basically what you're going to want to do is go onto the website, onto the new Reddit subreddit, and watch to see if there's a game giveaway of a game that has Steam trading cards. Now you don't have to play this game for those cards. You can go ahead and use something like Steam Achievement Manager to go ahead and idle the games or Steam Idle Master. There'll be a link to both of those down in the description below and you cannot be banned on Steam in any way, shape or form if you do it properly by opening it up and running the game. There'll probably be another tutorial linked in the description down below or there'll be a tutorial linked on the actual download website itself. So that is how to acquire free cards. Now onto the paid method, which is probably more obvious, and that is the Steam Community Market. Now if you add something like $5, maybe you can squeeze two or three new levels in there. But that is pushing it a little bit, depending on what level you are already, because as you level up, the acquired XP does exponentially increase with the level that you are. So just keep that in mind. But um, basically, once you add money by selling a CSGO skins or anything, uh, or actually adding it physically with real money, you can go ahead and boost that. On the Steam community market, you can go ahead and trade and buy cards that you want. And uh, that's pretty simple. I'm pretty sure you've all used the Steam community market already. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to show you guys something very useful. It's called steam.tools slash cards. Now, this is a very useful website for showing you set prices of certain cards of certain games should I rather say so if you go into the website and click set price it'll sort it by the cheapest to most expensive set price and you'll be able to tell which games sell for the cheapest for the whole set each set that you get will be 100 XP I think it is and there's a maximum of five levels in each badge so that's maximum of 500 XP per game so as you guys can see on the first page there's a game called super mustache available for 31 cents that's the price of the whole set so if you go ahead and buy that five times it'll put you to about 
$2.30 something. I'm not great at math and I don't have a calculator in front of me. But anyway, if you go ahead and hit the M button, it'll take you to the Steam Market where you can go ahead and inspect it and buy which ones you want for whatever price that it is available for. Once you've collected five of each, you can go ahead and craft it into five separate badges and bam, there you have it, 500 XP to level up your Steam account, which is maybe one or two levels if you're very low rank, or maybe half or a quarter of a rank if you're a much higher rank. So I'm not going to show you guys how to use Steam Idol Master, which I did show in which I did show you guys in the previous video that I made, uh, just because I don't want to go through the whole process again, but you should be able to find a really simple tutorial just by googling it. Honestly, it's not that hard. You just need to pick which game you want to run, click and bam, you're already idling for cards. Leave it overnight and when you come back in the morning, you should have every single card for that game. So yeah, it's pretty simple. Thank you all for watching. I hope this addressed all the issues in the previous video. And uh, yeah, so remember to go ahead and like this video if you liked it and dislike if you didn't. And uh, yeah, so I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.